Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to revise on what is acceleration. Now, acceleration is defined as the rate of change of velocity. This is a definition, so make sure you memorize this. Mathematically, acceleration, which is a vector, it has a direction, is equal to the rate of change of velocity over time interval. Uh, a more accurate way to write this will be dv dt, where the symbol dv dt means the rate of change of velocity. This is what you will learn in math uh, a while later. It's called differentiation. If we further deconstruct the equation, we will get the final velocity minus initial velocity over the time interval. A point to note, change is always a final quantity minus the initial quantity. That's how we define the change or something. Now, this Vf and Vi are all instantaneous velocities at the final um, point in time and the initial point in time. Because in PH301, we deal with just constant acceleration motion, where acceleration is kept constant. Therefore, the above formula for acceleration allows us to find the average acceleration, which is equal to the instantaneous acceleration at all points in time. Now, let's look back at the original acceleration equation. There's something that I forgot to do. Velocity Vf and velocity Vi, these are all vectors. So I should have put in the vector sign on top of Vf and Vi. Acceleration as a vector, when you calculate from the formula, you will get either a positive acceleration or negative acceleration. You get positive acceleration when Vf, the numerical value of Vf, is more than the numerical value of Vi. Similarly, we get negative acceleration if the numerical value of Vi is bigger than the numerical value of Vf. Now, what does it mean when there is positive acceleration? If your final velocity is bigger than the initial velocity, this implies that your velocity has increased. Now, when the velocity has increased, does this imply that the object is speeding up or slowing down? Well, the truth is, it can imply both scenarios. Now, let's take a look at a number line for velocity. We have a zero velocity here, the object is not moving. We have positive velocity, and so on and so forth. We have also negative velocity. Do recall that velocity, when it's positive, implies that the object is moving forward. When velocity is negative, it implies that the object is moving backwards. Let's now see what an increase in velocity will mean. Number one. Uh, increase in velocity can take place here where the object increases its velocity from say 1 meter per second to 4 meter per second this means the object is speeding up on the other hand an increase in velocity on a number line can take place here too where the increase in velocity happens from a velocity of negative 3 meter per second to a velocity of negative 1 meter per second this is an increase in velocity, but the object slows down from a speed of 3 to a speed of 1 meter per second. This means that the object is slowing down. If you repeat the analysis for negative acceleration, we will find that velocity has decreased, and this will yield the same two possible scenarios of the object speeding up or the object slowing down. Therefore, one interesting observation here is to see that a positive acceleration can imply that object is speeding up or slowing down. It doesn't always mean that a positive acceleration will result in an object speeding up, definitely. Now, a general rule of thumb is this. If your acceleration is in the same direction as the velocity, as shown in these first two scenarios, positive acceleration, positive velocities, or negative acceleration, negative velocities, then your object will 
speed up. If your acceleration and velocities are in opposite direction, as shown in these last two examples, then the object will slow down. Now, that's all for acceleration. Do remember to complete your speed test, and I'll see you next time.